busted. What? What are you doing? Playing on my phone. You're camping, bud. No, you're recording, man. <sighs> What is up guys? My name is Mark Sidamarillo. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog. Guys, we are still here at Village Creek State Park in Beaumont, Texas. This is the morning after all the Swap Meet Vlogs. If you're curious about our journey out here, go check out my other channel, MSM Every Day. Me and Evan are doing some tent camping. It's actually really fun. Anyways, today guys, we're gonna do a review on this car and I know nothing about it other than that, that right there. It says 12 scale Toyota FJ45. Not a clue what the car is. I don't even know what it looks like. So I'm super curious. This is gonna be a fun opening, unboxing, and review for me, just as much it is for you guys. Oh, golly, if I can open it up. I need to sharpen my knife, jeez. Whoa. Oh, very nice. Check this out, guys. Boom, look at that. I hope that's the color I got, because that color is freaking amazing. Screw it. Box panels, looks really cool. We are gonna bust it out, obviously, but some people are curious about box panels, so there you go. The bottom. Oh look, the tailgate comes down, that's pretty cool. Oh, nice, it comes in a nice pretty box like the other ones, look at this. Oh look, it's like a, it's a carrying case, it's like a tackle box. That's freaking sick. I really like that. Like these are the little things that I really appreciate from FMS. They do a great job at these kind of things. And look, there's like little latches. Oh my God. This thing is nice. Look at this. Guys, I know you all probably aren't going to believe me, but I promise I did not plan this out. Look at this. <laughs> look at this shirt match. Seriously? This was a total coincidence. All right, let's look at what this thing looks like under the body. If you take the, I don't think you take the body off actually. I think it's one of these ones where you take the hood. Pop the, oh yeah, see look, oh look, it, it uses that same little battery as the minis, the 380 milliamp battery. This is the same battery that's using the Power Wagon, the Max Smasher, and the Apache, which this is a lot bigger than the Power Wagon. However, this battery, I don't think I've ever actually ridden this battery all the way down, so I'm sure it's gonna last. Uh, but here's what it looks like inside. Actually, I'll get a better picture for you guys. All right, guys, we changed the angle up a little bit. So you guys are seeing this like as I'm seeing it and checking it out. So first off, the hood, super cool. The tailgate comes down. I think, I think the door's actually open too. Let me not, like, not break the door handle off. Come on. I think they open. Let me see if I can get them open. Seriously, there was a sticker on it. That's why it wasn't opening. There we go. We got the door open. Look at the details inside. It's got a little stick shifter, the dash, the steering wheel, the bucket seats. Oh my God, it's got a, is that a parking brake? There's a parking brake. Man, look at the details of this thing. Freaking insane. Man, there's, there's a common trend with these FMS cars. They always blow me away. There's always a lot more than I think there is to it. And wow, this one did not disappoint. Here's under the hood. Basically your ESC, your little battery tray. Okay, one thing, I know this is a steering servo. Looking under it, oh my God, I almost broke the door off. Looking under it, there's another servo right here, which that's obviously transmission servo to, I guess, shift in the second gear. Now there's another servo, hold on. So, so there's, there's basically three servos. I don't know where the third servo goes or what it does. I did kind of skim through the manual and I didn't see anything, but we will test it out to see what's going on. And what it does looks like we have steel drive shafts which is nice and then look at this leaf springs that was probably the first thing i know like whenever i see a car for the first time the first thing i do is kind of do this push it down and the suspension is stiff you can tell that it's not like a, a shock <laughs> shock suspension there's something a little different and that's why it's because it's leaf springs but man that is freaking sick okay we got the battery charging oh we're gonna go drive this thing and see how it does and i'm really curious to see what that other channel does I'm pretty sure it has lights also, so it's probably lights on the remote. It is your typical remote that you would see out of your other FMS cars, but I actually like this remote, lots of features. We're keeping all the toggles down um, because that's like normal driving mode, but oh man, I am super freaking stoked. Oh yeah, I gotta plug this because this, it's the little things guys. Look at this, it's like a tackle box for your car. You can literally take it anywhere. I might just keep this one in my truck 
for camping trips because the scale look on this thing, this is gonna be awesome to take on hikes. And that's actually what we're gonna do right now. Hold on guys, I think I know what that extra servo does. And if it does it, I'm gonna be freaking out. I think it turns the steering wheel inside. Look like following the lead, the connector, it's like connected to what would look like the steering wheel inside. So I think that's what it is. Uh, we're gonna find out here in a little bit. We're still charging, hurry up. Oh my goodness guys, it is what I thought it was. Look at the steering wheel moving <laughs> as I'm turning. Oh, that's so sick. All right, check out the other channel toggles. Let's see, we got headlights here. Brights, low beams. Oh, look, hazards, sweet. Oh, let's see if the, uh, the turn signals work. Turn signals work, left, right, very nice. Got anything in the back here? Ah! <laughs> that scared the crap out of me, I had the reverse. Left, right, oh my god, that is super sick. And then obviously we have reverse. Super freaking cool, oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> That was freaking awesome. All right, we'll start with what I like about this car, the goods. First off, the looks, absolutely insane. They freaking killed with the looks. I'm a Toyota guy, so the fact that it's a Toyota Land Cruiser is a big win for me. But they even nailed it down to the steering wheel turning. I mean, that kind of detail is insane. I love how all the, the hatches and doors open. That's really, really cool. I've seen this in the past where maybe just the hood opens, but not the other stuff. They killed it with the scale look and functionality. This is a weird one, but I also like that all the cars use the same battery. Uh, as I'm getting more and more, I'm building my collection of FMS cars, I don't have to worry about getting multiple of other batteries because I just have a basically a pile of the same battery that all of them use. Now with that said, they're all smaller cars, but the battery lasts really long. I, again, I haven't ran one all the way down and I've driven mine for a very long time, maybe 20, 30 minutes at least. I also love the lights, which the lights aren't on right now, but. I think on the power wagon, the lights turned on, but it didn't have turn signals. I love how it has turn signals, uh, reverse lights. I think that's freaking awesome. Like the little details like that really go a long way with me. It just makes the driving experience that much cooler. Also, believe it or not, this is actually my first car with leaf suspension. Uh, I think that's, I think it's awesome. I think it makes it, it's, it makes it a little bit different. It adds a little variety to your collection. And the suspension is, it's kind of stiff, so it kind of bounced a little bit, but I believe that's kind of how the trucks used to be back in the day anyway, so it makes sense from a generation perspective. And then I can't say enough about how much I love how FMS does the boxes. Like, I already like the other boxes, but this box is a closable, it has latches on it, it has a handle on it. I mean, they freaking killed it with this. Like, these are the little things that I appreciate big time. 
it makes it really easy to take it with you and just drive it wherever you want, which I think is freaking awesome. This is probably the best box I've seen from FMS so far. In regards to what I don't like, I really don't like how it's not waterproof. Like FMS kills it with these crawlers, these mini crawlers, these mini trail trucks, but they're not waterproof. There were a few parts on the trail that had a lot of water, like raised up water, and I wanted to hit it, but obviously we can't because it's not waterproof. Not a big fan at not being waterproof. And then also, it's obvious that this is not a crawler, right? This isn't a crawler, it's a trail truck. And for me, I feel like a trail truck should be at least as fast as a normal person walks. In this case, the high speed, it's not even as fast as I walk, so we are having to walk slower. That's a little annoying to me. I wish they just made it just a little bit faster. It doesn't need to be like blistering fast where it's doing wheelies, but at least fast enough where you can walk behind it comfortably and not feel like you're having to slow down your walk. Overall, I'm giving this car a big two thumbs up. I can't wait till they make more different cars on this platform because this platform is really cool. Especially if you're a collector and you just want to see really cool scale trucks, this is an awesome platform. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.